Terry Crews has responded to Gabrielle Union's claims that there was a lack of diversity at America's Got Talent. But like a lot of people are thinking, just shut up and flex your pecs. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaden Nerd. I want to talk about Gabrielle Union and Terry Crews. Um, the situation with America's Got Talent and just all the back and forth and stuff like that. Gabrielle Union has been very vocal about her time on the show. Uh, she did one year, but she wasn't brought back. Her contract was not renewed. And it actually came out that she had issues with the producers. Um, they were coming to her about her appearance and her hair and basically saying that her aesthetic just wasn't appealing to the white majority of people that was watching the show. So she was dealing with that. Uh, there were racially insensitive jokes being made, allegedly. Uh, there was a toxic work environment, allegedly, and a lack of diversity. All of these things she alleges, and she actually had to sit down with executives and they wanted to kind of work on some strategies to see if this is true and what they can do to change it. So she came out, she did all that, said that, and it was what it was. Terry Crews decides to insert himself and basically says he didn't see any of that and that it was one of the best experiences and it's great and it is what it is. He actually shared that his wife was like, well, if Gabrielle isn't talking about it, then perhaps you shouldn't. You get what I'm saying? But he decided to talk about it. So the first time he comes out, he's like, look, I didn't notice it. I didn't see it. Um, that wasn't my experience. Gabrielle sees this. And then she's like, okay, I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to be specific and out specific people. But if you want to play, bro, we can play. So basically, there was a back and forth on Twitter between Gabrielle and Terry Crews. And again, it's all implied, but you can kind of read between the lines and understand that they're addressing one another. And she's basically saying, look, you saw it. You know it was there. We all worked in close proximity. So anything that I'm alleging, anything that I'm putting out there, you observed it. He's probably trying to protect his bag. He's doing well. It's a successful show. He's the host. It's the most relevant he's been, and he's been doing pretty darn well over the last few years on these other shows. So he's trying to secure the bag. I get it. But even if you want to secure your bag, it doesn't mean that you have to throw her under the bus or basically say something contrary to what she put out there. And it is shade. If she's saying, this is my experience, this is how I feel, and you come out all happy-go-lucky saying, well, that ain't the way I saw it, and that ain't my experience. If you felt that way, you didn't have to comment at all. If you think about it, if she's speaking about an experience and then she's working with executives to try to make sure that the environment changes and that this does not happen again or that nobody feels that way, then I don't understand why you would want to say something against that. That doesn't make any sense. Nothing about your statement makes sense because she's essentially trying to help more people. And you seem like you're concerned with, I'm doing great and I got a great job. I don't want to mess it up. When you got fondled and groped and grabbed by a Hollywood executive, who was one of the first people that came out in your defense or came out in support for you? It was Gabrielle Union, the black woman that supported you. Said, speak your truth. We need more of this. It ain't just women doing the Me Too movement. Men are affected by it too. You got a wave of support from black women. When it's time for you to support a black woman, all of a sudden, you did, that's not your experience. And then you decide to double down and say that the only woman that I gotta please is Rebecca. Rebecca is his wife. Now he's in an interracial marriage, whatever. They've been happily married for a very long time. It's no shade on that, but she is a white woman. So for you to sit there and throw Gabrielle under the bus, speak, but you didn't have to say anything your wife recommended that if Gabrielle wasn't going to be public about specifics, maybe you shouldn't. But now nah, you decide to jump and leap out there and make it seem like she's a malcontent. And then you're going to double down and get aggressive and say, well, I only got to please Rebecca, not my mother, not my sister. Let they men handle that. Like, what are you going through? Are you so worried about keeping a bag that you got to just throw dirt on a black woman? Is that what it is, man? That's not cool. Nobody hating on who you love, but who you love shouldn't make you have to treat your own any differently. And, and that's what I'm not understanding. But what do you think about this situation? Do you think that it's just a misunderstanding and that Gabrielle may have seen it her way? And maybe, maybe, possibly, he just didn't see it and he didn't see the examples that she's bringing up. Or do you think that she's right? 
and she's telling the truth. And rather than him rock the boat and mess up his bag, he's just shucking and jiving in a sense. Put everything in the comments section below. I want to hear what y'all have to say about this. If you can, please throw a like on the video, subscribe and share. It's greatly appreciated. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to y'all next time.